What's going on guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear and today we have another unboxing. This one is super cool. I can't wait to get into this thing. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. All right. I am so excited about what is in this box. Uh, this box was sent to me by Lefty EDC. Such a great guy. I first uh, heard about him because I'm a huge fan of Jake over at Bearded Gear. Him and Jake are really good friends. Uh, he has sent Jake quite a few knives. And he <laughs> and I have been talking. And he has sent me a few knives that I'm really excited about. One in particular, which we will go over here in a second. So I'm going to have his Instagram linked down below. He's a super cool dude. Definitely go check him out. I also, before we get into the box want to give a shout out to a new friend of mine who has a YouTube channel, Fast Knives. I want to see if I can't put a picture right here of his YouTube channel. He has uh, got a 500 subscriber giveaway going on right now. I'm going to have it linked down below. Super cool guy. I'm not sure how he's not gotten more subscribers. He's just really awesome at what he does. He makes really good content. I've got some knives uh, headed over his way to, to get his opinion on. So definitely go check out Knives Fast right now. Link down in the description. Go ahead, uh, subscribe to his channel, come back, and then watch this unboxing. Here we go. So we are going to be using as our unboxing knife uh, a knife that is was sent to me by my other friend, Mr. Tier 1 Tactical. Uh, Justin over there is just an awesome super dude, and he loaned me this. Uh, I do like carrying a fixed blade on me uh, every now and again. This one has turned out to be really awesome. We are going to use this. This box is kind of turned upside down because there are uh, addresses and stuff on the other side, which we do not want you to see. So I am going to open this upside down. Ba -ba. All right, so as you can see here, we have... Looks like two, no, one. One other Asher Knife Company knife. Uh, if you, I mean, I just posted my uh, review of the Asher Knives Silva, which I absolutely loved. We have, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> we have a QSP knife, which we will look at. And then we have something in this pouch. Wait a minute, I don't know if I knew, if it, I thought it was only three knives, so we might have a surprise. All right, so uh, first of all, let's get this one. <laughs> all right, we're going to do some other ones right here. We're going to see what the other Asher Knife Company knife is. Voila! Asher Knife Company, always some extra hardware. These are springs. This one, I believe, is the Sentry. Look at that guy. This one is wearing G10 S35 VN blade steel. I have seen these things. Oh, man, yeah, that action. Yeah. Now, of course, you guys are looking at this. You're like, hey, is that a Benchmade? No, it's not a Benchmade. This has an access style lock. Uh, the patent on that went out a long time ago. Wow, the action on this thing. Better than some of the Benchmades that I've had. <laughs> wow. See if I can middle finger flick it. Of course, if I can get my big fat finger out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really excited about this guy because I was so impressed with the Asher Knife Silva that I was really looking forward to getting more of the Asher Knife Company uh, models in my hand. And thanks to Lefty EDC, I am able to do that. Really excited to get this in pocket and try it out. Very, very sturdy feeling. I like, I really dig this. So first impressions of this guy is I like it. It's not a small knife, it's not a big knife, it's like that perfect EDC carry with a premium S35VN blade, really well done G10 handle, and a deep carry pocket clip, which, you know, it doesn't carry like all the way to the bottom, but loop over pocket clip, steel liners, and G10 backspacer. Really, really cool. Man, that action, I'm telling you what. So first impressions of that, I am digging it. So let's go ahead see what else we got boom, 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 boom. this one is a qsp what do we have here does it actually tell us what this is on this card i am not sure this <laughs> i've had one other qsp knife that i got in the going gear subscription box 
And I'm pretty sure this one is called the Penguin. Dang it, if I can't remember. <laughs> I will have it linked. Uh, I can't, I think it's called the Penguin. Um, oh man, and he told me too. But I've actually seen this knife quite a bit. Uh, on other YouTube channels, and everybody seems to love it. I'll be honest with you, like this one has got micarta, like a really cool, like a denim micarta. Feels super nice. Uh, that deep carry pocket clip, which I loved um, on the QSP that I got from Going Gear. Such a cool blade shape, this little Warncliffe style. Man, this is so cool. Now, this is D2 steel. Look at that action. QSP, man, I'm also very uh, excited about that company as well. You know, the Asher Knife Company and the QSP, they are both made overseas. But I'm telling you guys, the, the amount of awesome manufacturing that we are getting out of some of these budget knives are just absolutely amazing, especially with Asher Knife Company with the premium materials that they're using. So this one, super cool. Very excited to check this guy out. Very lightweight. Perfect little size for most people's EDC. Very, very excited. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in here. Hope I, I hope I named that right. Golly, I got a horrible memory. All right, let's see what's in this little pouch. What do we got? Oh, what is this? The, uh, oh, what's it called? Man, I wish I would have freaking... Uh, the Doman... I can't remember. <laughs> this thing is super freaking cool. I am a huge fan of Micarta. I am digging the fact that I've got two knives right now from him in Micarta. Golly, what the heck? I'm going to put it right here somewhere about what this knife is actually called. Look at that cool little bomb right there. This one is, of course, Italy made M390. If I could get it to focus. Looks like it has the Blade HQ symbol right there, so I'm assuming this is a, a knife exclusive to them, maybe? I cannot remember, but this reminds me of an Anzo design, uh, like from Giant Mouse, and I wonder if that's what this is, because, yeah. Oh, man, I cannot believe, this is totally a... Uh, you know, looks like a giant mouse. You know what I'm saying? At least it does that for me. This awesome bent over wire pocket clip, my Carter scales, M390, and this beautiful crowned spine with the jimping. I'm telling you what, yeah, this is exactly what this reminds me of. He's going to kill me because he, he told me what this was. Matter of fact, I think I was, he showed me some pictures and stuff and I was like, ooh, yeah, that one. And I'm just a moron and can't remember. But yeah, now I'm looking forward to uh, kind of seeing uh, where this knife was from because it screams uh, that designer from me over at Giant Mouse. Those guys, uh, Jesper Vaknez and the other guy, <laughs> I can't remember. Really cool little snappy action flipper. Definitely not a drop shutting knife, but it's very small. Still very smooth. Looks like it might be on washers. I'm digging this. I mean, I don't like usually like these smaller knives, but um, you know, this right here for a small knife fits very well in the hand. God, I love these bicarta scales. Mm. All right, very excited about this one as well. Let's put this guy back. Okay. <laughs> All right, I went through those a little fast. Because this is really the one that I wanted to see. <laughs> uh, if you can see here, this is, says Demco. Demco Knives. What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> this is a knife that I have been lusting over for a little while. They just came out. They sold out really, really fast. This is the Demco 8020 in 3V Steel. The exact configuration that I wanted and looked for with the uh, groove there, holy moly, and the shark lock. Let's go ahead and do the first flick with the middle finger. Fuck. <laughs> oh, and then of course, oh, so you have the shark lock back here where you just, oh my gosh, this makes for a fidget magnet. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, yep. Oh, yeah. 
I know uh, he's such a great guy. Ford, you know, sending this guy along. I am now in love. I knew I would be. This is my first. I mean, I've got some Colts, Colts deal, Demco uh, designs, but this is the first uh, true Andrew Demco knife that I have had in my possession. And, of course, with the new shark lock that he has invented and come up with, this thing is such a freaking awesome, awesome blade in 3V steel, which is my favorite steel as far as like a hard use, like an outdoor steel. And this obviously is a hard use knife. Mm, okay. Oh, Kevin, 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 Kevin. I want this so bad. <laughs> okay. But hey, look, I get, I get it. We are. It takes a little bit underneath this camera, but I mean, you can use this shark lock to whip it out there. Of course, I am definitely going to use the um, uh, middle finger flick to get this guy open and to close that. So freaking fidgety! Oh my gosh! Oh, I. Uh, yep. First impressions. Of course, I knew I was going to love this. I love the jimping. I love the ergos. I love everything about this thing. Uh, Andrew Demko is just a, a legendary man and designer. Came up with the triad lock, the scorpion lock. And, of course, we will put that up against this um, whenever we um, do the full review of this guy. Such an amazing knife. Uh, and you know what? I, I like the big knives. And this is definitely a big knife. But it is not like massive you know like some of the other knives that i have this thing is definitely pocketable we will definitely see how it fits in the pocket with this pocket clip whenever we uh you know i carry it into the very big oversized hardware just an absolute wonderful beast of a knife and i am so freaking excited all right i'll stop talking uh, <laughs> so guys definitely definitely thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out these knives from Lefty EDC. Thank you so much, Kevin, for everything, for sending me these guys to check out and review. Of course, especially this guy. I am so jealous. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm pathetic, I know. But guys, definitely down below, Lefty EDC, go check him out. Also, Knife Fast, he is one heck of a dude. I'm going to have another picture right here. Go check him out. Uh, subscribe. He's got some great content. Um, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Still got a 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up soon, so hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when this guy happens. I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be it's going to be cool, so stay safe out there, guys, in this crazy world that we're living in, and we will see you in the next one.